What is up guys? This is day 10 of the 30 videos in 30 day challenge. Alright, I'm going to be super honest with you guys about this one. This video has been absolute torture for me. I've hit my first roadblock. I spent about 8 hours yesterday filming this video 2 times and it was just not good. Um, it was unusable. I The files were too dark. I had so many technical problems. So I've woke up this morning to try and get it done. It's still within the, the day that I said I was going to get it done. So I, I'm going to get this one out for you today. So the video I was trying to film yesterday was like a, a camera bag review, what I've got in my camera bag. So today's video is going to be five tools that I think you should have in your camera bag that will help you film parkour. So let's jump straight into it. I'm going to try and knock this out in one shot. Let's go. So the first thing that I think that you should have in your camera bag to shoot parkour, which I don't actually have in my hand because on my camera, but I'm going to put some pictures of it here, is a good wide angle lens for your camera. Okay, so I'm shooting on an APS-C sensor camera. Uh, it has about a 1.6 crop factor on a full frame camera. So what this means that the lens is slightly cropped in. Um, so if you're shooting on full frame like an A7 III, you can probably go get away with anything from about 14 to 16 mil lens. But if you're shooting on a crop sensor lens, APS-C or micro four thirds, you're going to want something a little bit wider. So I'm currently using the Fuji film 10 to 24 mil and it's really nice and wide. When you're looking at wide, length, wide angle lenses, you usually want to go for something with a little bit of quality there. So there's no bokeh in the shot. Um, I'm using the F4. There is an F2.8, but it's about $1,000 more expensive than the lens I'm using. So this, so the F4 is not going to be as good in low light, but the X-T3 that I'm using has good light, low light capabilities. So I can counter it a little bit and I've shot a little bit at night and it's okay. The reason that we want a wide angle lens is if you're shooting action photography or video, you're able to get in closer. If you're doing landscape photography or video, you want those good um, uh, landscape shots, then it's going to give you a lot more in the shot. Um, and generally, the problem, generally, when you shoot with a photographer that hasn't shot a lot of parkour, they'll chuck a, something like a 50 mil or, or up from there, and they want to get those sort of tight depth of field shots. Over my years of shooting parkour, I like the look um, of a wide angle lens getting in nice and close and emphasizing the action with a nice background, foreground action, background, um, background with a lot in there as well, a lot of detail. If you look at some of Jason, Jason Paul's and Emily's Eddie Photo Eyes um, photography, they use a lot of wide angle lenses. So if you're shooting APS-C crop sensor, you want a nice maybe 10 mil and the 10 mil isn't quite at a fisheye level yet. So it's not fisheye, um, it's just a wide angle lens. So that's number one. That's the first addition to the parkour toolkit, the parkour bag toolkit that I would recommend. On the contrary to that, so on the other side, this is a, for my M50, which is also APS-C sensor. Um, it's a mirrorless camera. This is a 22 mil F 1.8. So this is gonna be better in low light situations and you are going to get that ni nice you are going to get that nice depth of field in the shot now this that camera the M50 you can buy for under $1000 I bought mine with the kit lens for 7.99 and this 22mm is a f1.8 as I said and was $150 so this is going to allow you to be able to get those nicer shots if you're shooting portraits with the crop factor on that it's going to be the equivalent to about a 35 mil um, takes beautiful photos that whole kit you can buy for just over a thousand dollars if you're doing any vlogging um, or you're wanting entry level to get into photography then I would recommend that uh, Canon M50 mirrorless camera with and if you're going to do that add this to your kit the 22 mil f 1.8 great camera uh, great lens. So that's number two. Number three for your parkour kit, and this is a, a, a standard one. Your GoPro. I am rocking. I'm rocking the GoPro Hero Seven. This camera has served me really well. This was the first introduction of that hyper smooth um, digital stabilization that they built into the cameras. The Hero Eight is out now, but you can also pick up GoPros. The older versions on like Gumtree or Amazon or eBay secondhand for like two, three hundred dollars. 
You can vlog with these things, you can take good photos with them, they have that super wide lens. And then, if you're wanting to do those POV shots that you see Storo do, or you see Ampi Sound do, then these, this is the camera for you. I would recommend every parkour photographer, videographer, athlete has a GoPro in their pack. You guys know about GoPro, this 7 also did 4K, beautiful shots. I love the look of the GoPros as well. Um, so if you're wanting to get POV or even just have a camera that's affordable, a GoPro is going to be very good for your kit. So that is number three. So the fourth thing, in addition to the GoPro, this is something that the likes of James Kingston popularized and then Jason also has used very, a lot over the years and then I'm very sure uh, Storo are using for their POV videos and that is a, a mouth guard mouth mount. There we go. So the reason for the mouth mount, there seems to be something about the shots within the mouth that you can't replicate anywhere else. I've used head mounts, I use chest mounts, I've tried everything. But there is something about the way that your your um your mouth lines up with your eyes that just keeps it directly in the shot that you want. And it even has this little bit of a tilt there, which is gonna put the camera exactly where it needs to be, about chin level, and you're gonna get those beautiful POV shots that you see in Stora's videos, um, in Jason's vlogs, uh, in Ampisound's POVs, the stuff that's getting a lot of views. If you're wanting to replicate those POV videos, get those exciting shots that you're seeing on the internet right now that are racking up 100 million views for some of these guys. This thing's like $25 off Amazon at a rate it arrived in like four days So a mouth mount. I would highly recommend that that's the fourth thing I would recommend for your kit All right So the fifth and final thing that I would recommend for your parkour film kit once again under a thousand dollars And this has been my favorite edition. This is the DJI Mavic Mini $7.99 I bought this um, here in Australia and that was the Fly More kit that came with three batteries, this bag, some bumpers, a remote. Um, yeah, like I, I still can't believe that for under $1,000 I bought a drone that has a three kilometer, four kilometer radius on it. Um, look, it's not going to perform as well in like windy situations. Uh, Kadori brought out a D, uh, the DJI Mavic Pro 2 the other day. It was windy. His performed a lot better. But for $7.99, you're not going to find anything that matches this. It has 2.7K resolution camera on it. So it's not quite 4K, but this thing, I've, this thing could be done, could be used for commercial work. Not many people are like seriously asking for 4k video all the time. This has been great for the vlogs um, And because it's so small the whole package is so easy to pack down I never feel intimidated take, taking it out and then finally something that people overlook with this um, Is this is actually 249 grams meaning it's one gram under the regulated limit Which means you're able to use this unless they've changed this since this has been released you're legally able to fly this in in all scenarios unless you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing with it. So um, the regulations say that it's 250 grams and over. You you have to get a license or a permit for these are 249 grams. So you're able to fly fly this at least in Australia in most scenarios. So DJI Mavic Mini. This is the camera. This is the drone. 7.99. A great addition it's going to add a lot of production value to your productions and that's been probably my happiest buy outside of my main camera that i'm rocking at the moment so there we have it that is my five things that i'd recommend for your parkour film kit to keep in your parkour film bag um with those tools and a good camera a decent camera you know even with something like an iphone as well which shoots 4k and slow-mo you're not going to need much more than that maybe uh at that point if you have these tools, you're going to go out, you're going to be able to create great content. Um, these are things, these are all been happy buyers for me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what cameras you guys are using, what accessories uh, you guys have got, anything in addition to that that you think will fill out a parkour um, camera bag. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bells button. I am uploading my podcast every Monday. I'm going live on them. Thank you for you guys that are tuning in every day for this 30 and 30 challenge. And I will see you guys tomorrow.